All right, today our viewer question, uh, they've asked, as a vegan, my iron level, levels are low. What foods would you recommend so that I don't have to take supplements? Oh my. Now, this person did not tell us if they are of the male persuasion or the female persuasion. And there's a big difference. Uh, if a person is of the male persuasion, if you're a guy with a low iron level, uh, you need to talk to your doctor to find out why. Uh, because uh, unlike menstruating females who lose iron every month and have a reason why they may have low iron levels, uh, us guys, we don't do that. And if there is a low level of iron, uh, then in the doctor's mind, we have to consider, is this guy bleeding somewhere? Does he have a polyp in his colon, possibly a malignant polyp that's oozing blood into the stool as it goes by there? And is he quietly bleeding uh, into the bowel movements there, so-called occult blood? And, uh, and if so, of course, that needs to be diagnosed and appropriately treated. So all men who have uh, low iron levels should uh, have their stools checked for occult blood on three separate occasions, because not every bowel movement may have the blood in it, but three separate occasions. Uh, and it's a simple test to do. Your doctor can give you little cards to check the uh, stool for occult blood. So definitely get that checked. And probably that goes hand in hand with probably a sigmoidoscopy or a colonoscopy, just to make sure that all is well in the colon. Uh, and if necessary, check the upper uh, GI tract as well to make sure that the person doesn't have a silent stomach ulcer or an ulcer in the duodenum that's silently also bleeding into the, into the intestinal contents. So look for GI bleeds for sure. Uh, if that is done and it's negative, then you have to say, well, what is this person eating? And if they're a junk food vegan and they're living on uh, Cokes and, uh, and Oreo cookies, not a lot of iron in that. And so you wanna start eating those iron containing foods and you want to absorb that iron. Iron is a tough mineral to absorb. <clears throat> Less than 1% of the iron in, that we swallow actually makes it uh, into our bloodstream. So uh, let me give you the ideas for both men and women with low irons who, and who have been shown not to have excessive blood loss. Or, you know, it's not due to uh, a silent bleed in their GI tract. Uh, how they can increase the iron uh, in their bloodstream. Well, you got to eat those iron containing foods. What are they? Dark green leafy vegetables have iron. Uh, and we all remember Popeye the sailor man uh, when he needed that extra uh, strength, he'd open up a can of spinach, right? And down it would go uh, because the iron in the spinach would get into his blood, make more red blood and he's stronger. Okay. And so, but seriously, um, another reason along with the magnesium, the calcium, the phytonutrients, to have dark green leafy vegetables every day in some form or another. You want a big plate, a big helping of kale, chard, broccoli, Brussels sprout, asparagus. Uh, eat your greens every day. Your mother was right you know, for many reasons, but iron certainly among them. Now, as far as absorbing that iron, you know you're not what you eat, you are what you absorb. Uh, how to increase the iron absorption? You do it with vitamin C. Uh, does that <clears throat> mean you got to take a vitamin C tablet when you eat your asparagus? No. Uh, what that means is use the natural sources of vitamin C. The best one and tastiest one are citrus fruits. So if you got a big plate of kale in front of you there, squeeze some lemon juice uh, all over it. You're making a spinach salad. Put some mandarin oranges slices, mandarin orange slices in there. Get that citrus and greens combination going, and you'll absorb more of the iron that you're actually uh, that you're actually swallowing. More of it will get into your bloodstream. So eat those greens. Uh, add vitamin C in some form. Uh, dried fruits are also rich in iron, uh, organic raisins, apricots, prunes, uh, um, a small handful of each one of those each day will also increase the amount of iron uh, that you consume. Okay, so that uh, goes for uh, men and especially postmenopausal women who uh, have been investigated to make sure they are not bleeding anywhere. Finally, uh, if you get women of reproductive age who are uh, struggling with low iron levels, it's probably because they're losing more iron every month in the menstrual flow uh, than they're consuming. 
Uh, they want to reduce uh, the amount of iron. If they're having really heavy periods, the amount of iron they're losing. Uh, if they're having really heavy periods, talk to the gynecologist, get an ultrasound, make sure you don't have a polyp uh, or a fibroid up in the uterus. Um, and to the dairy eating women, you're going to be at risk for heavy periods. The cows are all pregnant these days. So you're, if you're consuming uh, uh, dairy yogurt and cheese and drinking milk, uh, you're consuming the estrogens from these pregnant cows. Well, they make the uterus lining get thick uh, every month. So you have an extra heavy menstrual flow. Stop the dairy. And often that's all that's needed. Uh, to, uh, to resolve a low iron level in a woman of, of reproductive age. Um, and, uh, and also she, she needs to increase the uh, amount of iron containing foods that we mentioned. So um, if you've got low iron levels, work with your doctor, find out why. Uh, and rule out any sources of hidden blood loss and then up that iron intake and iron absorption with the vitamin C and the iron containing foods uh, and the iron deficiency should correct itself. Uh, if after six months of really trying, you just can't find it, you may have some uh, rare condition involving iron kinetics, uh, have your, doctor, your family doctor send you over to a hematologist and work with her to find out what the problem might be, but that's very rare. It's usually just not consuming it uh, enough or uh, you're having the uh, uh, hidden blood loss that needs to be investigated. Okay, hopefully that clears it up. So enjoy your, uh, the lemon on your greens and uh, you ought to be okay. Thank you for that. As you mentioned in the beginning, the person didn't specify, but you covered all bases. So I hope that that's helpful to the person that asked, but also anyone else that's interested um, or, or having that issue. Um, and I think it's also very cool, the, the combination of the two. Like you said, you know, there's certain things with the iron, but combine it with the citrus and then you can really absorb it. So thank you. Right. Um, if you do have an iron deficit that you need to repair uh, for whatever reason, uh, the heavy periods, uh, et cetera, uh, the best product I found to do that is called Floridix, F-L-O-R-A-D-I-X. I have no stock in the company, um, but it is uh, those iron containing fruits, uh, fruits that uh, the, uh, the raisins, the apricots, the, the prunes, uh, they've been crushed into a, into a thick, sweet syrup. And uh, two teaspoons of that, I think, gives 10 milligrams of iron. So uh, it comes in these large bottles. You get it off the shelf at the health food stores or ordered online. But go through a couple of bottles of Floridex, and that will usually repair any iron deficit. And then you, can, you ought to be able to carry the rest on the food that you eat in the manner that we described. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.